I'm surprised at this, man. I'm literally surprised this happened. So, obviously, most of you guys know that Tory Lanez unfortunately got sentenced to 10 years in prison for the shooting of Megan Thee Stallion. And a lot of people, myself, myself included, were shocked at the sentence. I think I kind of guessed or hoped it would be like six years or something around that kind of mark. And with time served, it might be a bit four, three and a half years to sit down for a dumb mistake and then you come out and, res and res resurrect your career. But 10 years for a crime that a lot of people are still 50-50 on. There's no conclusive proof that he did it. The DNA evidence is shoddy. Um, no bullet fragments. All these things are just like all over the place. And I think a lot of people, myself included, are of the belief that he probably didn't do it. But unfortunately, with court, you have to kind of prove you didn't do it. Um, and he probably couldn't. He's defense, of course. And that's why he ended up having to get sentenced. Because I guess it was like a um, probable cause, right? Out of all the people who could get charged, he was the only one who didn't have immunity. And he was obviously on the stand. So he's, and he was there. So he was, you know, he kind of got the time. It kind of makes what it makes. But I just assumed he would just take his time and, you know, sit it down and go from there. Or they would just file an appeal and he would just kind of stay out of the limelight. But I guess after all the hub hullabala, hullabaloo around the fucking sentence and whatnot, Tory actually put out a statement, an actual statement, basically trying to clarify what he actually said. Because I think in the court, when he before he got sentenced, he was allowed to speak. And when he spoke, he basically said like he was, you know, he was sorry. And he basically said he was sorry for the the events that happened that kind of led up to the shooting and blah, blah, blah. And I think a lot of people assumed he was saying sorry for the shooting. So I guess he went to clarify, no, I didn't say sorry for the shooting because I didn't do it. I'm innocent. And also just to kind of, you know, give a heads up to his fans and whatnot. I was really surprised by a statement because I feel like this statement has basically fucked Megan Thee Stallion, basically. Like, it's going to make her trying to come back and start her career again very very difficult so let's get the thing up on here this is Tory Lanez's Instagram account he posted on his official Instagram as you can see there let me quickly take the chat off the screen so you can see it it says as follows to the umbrellas that's what he calls his fans I have never let the hard time intimidate me I will never let no jail time eliminate me regardless of how they try to spin my words I have always maintained my innocence and I always will this week in court, I took responsibility for all the verbal and intimate moments that I shared with the parties involved. That's it. In no way, shape or form was I apologising for the charges I'm being wrongfully convicted of. I remain of the stance that I refuse to apologise for something I did not do. Remember that. I did not do. I faced adversity my whole life and every time it looked like I would lose, I came up on top. This is nothing but another moment where my back is against the wall and I refuse to stop fighting till I come out victorious. Tough times don't last. Tough people do. To my family, friends and umbrellas, thank you for your continued support. See you soon. So he is literally saying categorically, I didn't do it. It wasn't me. It's pretty wild. Like it makes Megan's comeback way more difficult because if he just would have disappeared and, you know, slunked away, you know, back to his jail cell, to back to his prison cell, took the time on the chin and just say it all out. Megan would have had a free run to kind of restart her career. But I did say in the previous stream, I did doubt, I think because academics said she's going to be fine. I doubted it. Yo, big up Richard. Appreciate you. Appreciate it for your donation. Not shocked at all. Blame it on his family and friends. When court was over, they blamed Jay-Z and Beyonce. Why they do that? Jay-Z heard about it and made one phone call and they threw the book at Tory. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly, Rich. You know, um, to be fair, I understand his point because if you guys remember, uh, Lil Uzi Vert got into some really weird passa passa with his ex girlfriend at the time. I forgot her name. No, that's her name, Britney Bird. This girl called Britney Bird. She's like well known on Instagram for like wearing cool clothes. I think she has her own store. So, Tori, so sorry, um, Lil Uzi Vert used to go out with this girl before JT, and they broke up and got into a bit of a beef. And then I guess one day that girl was seeing, I forgot the name of the, of the rapper. She was seeing somebody at some cafe and I guess Louis Yvert found out and he was still kind of into her, I guess at the time, even though he was still going out with JT and he pulled up to the cafe where they were at, pulled out a gun on the girl, stuck it in her stomach, punched the guy and was just basically being a menace. Anyway, long story short, he got convicted of it in, in court. He got put to like, you know, anger management stuff and whatever it may be. But essentially that whole incident because again he attacked a woman and all this stuff you know being physical with a woman people always said 
that Lil Uzi Vert got away with it more so because he was on Rock Nation. Now, Rock Nation have links and have an ability to, like, you know, quell stories and spin a different narrative. So, for some reason, Tory did something that people, I'm not too sure if he did, and he immediately got cancelled. So, that's why I understand why Tory's family was so hell bent on, like, talking about Rock Nation because it did seem iffy that Lil Uzi Vert kind of got away with it, didn't get cancelled, and his career is flourishing even though he got convicted in court before Tory Lanez did. You know, I know he didn't serve any jail time, but you know, that went there. Then obviously, and then obviously when the story came out, Megan immediately was the one that everyone kind of believed and that narrative was kind of getting pushed. So it kind of felt like there was a machine behind Megan the entire time. By the way, can you guys hear the roadworks when I'm talking? Because I can hear it a lot from my window. Can you guys hear it or was it only me? Let me know in the chat. Can you hear that? <laughs> I don't know if I'm screaming over some fucking roadworks or if it's okay. Okay, not really. Okay, cool. Okay, anyway. Uh, <laughs> this is fucking putting me off. I can barely hear it. Okay, cool. I can hear BGO picking up a car. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you guys. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Um, <laughs> trucks backing up. Okay, you guys are idiots. <laughs> you never serious. Um, what you saying? No, yeah, but uh, Lil Uzi didn't have to admit anything, though. That's what I'm saying, with Vagabond. It was all delved behind the scene. Lil Uzi Vert never spoke about it. He was never questioned by the media. It was never a big story. It kind of just went, came and went. That's the issue. That's, that's what I'm saying. Tory, because he was independent, kind of, he didn't have that machine behind him. That's why he kind of got fucked. But in my personal opinion, I've said this from the beginning, I still say if I had to do a percentage of blame, I still put 70% of the blame on Tory. I think 30% is still Megan, I think, because she, she knows that Tory didn't shoot her. She knows, right? So that's obviously super vindictive of her. But I still put 70% of the blame on Tory. Why do I say that? Because I feel like men should always be in control in that situation, especially when it comes to you involved with a woman and shit. You should always be in control. And that means being in control of your emotions. So if, if it's not going well for you, you should back away. If it's going well for you, you should kind of make it known your intentions, but you should always be in control. And I feel like, in my opinion, um, Tory just did too much. He saw like he saw like everything in front of him in fucking 4K. He saw Megan looking hot because he was banging her. He saw Kelsey looking hot, Megan's friend, he was banging her. Then he saw Kylie Jenner in the pool, you know, looking like a baby in the manger, like I said, in that weird lyric, and he went to bang her too. He just did too much that night. If you just would have relaxed, he would have been fine. But because he did that, then he went outside and exposed everything, and, they, and the girls got into a fight allegedly, which then led to the gunshot thing. It's kind of a lot of his responsibility. You know, he has to take a lot of responsibility for just being too much of a hot boy. But um, if if you had to ask me, like, you know, categorically, do I, th do I think he shot her? No. I think there's too many inconsistencies. And for me, the one thing that always kind of put a, like a bad taste in my mouth was the fact that Megan never wanted to admit in the beginning that she even was sleeping with fucking Tory Lanez. She was acting as if, like, it was beneath her. Like, she was like, no, I would never sleep with that guy. Like, going on as if, like, it was an impossible thing. I never really understood that. I think, for me, that's what made it really fishy. Like, obviously, you were. Like, why else would you guys get into this super fucking heated argument in the first place? You know I mean, it makes no sense. Um, so, yeah, whatever. That was set me off.